Hey guys, I'm Dwayne's Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has just released iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 3. Apple also today released watchOS 6.2 Developer Beta 3. And for iPad owners, if you're running the developer program, iPadOS 13.4 Developer Beta 3 is currently available as of right now now we know that iOS 13.4 is a major update which brings the iCloud folder sharing it also brings new emoji stickers rearrange settings if you want more details links will be in the description for previous coverage but it brings a ton of improvements and also car key a new feature coming for CarPlay as well so just a ton of improvements overall with 13.4 in this video I want to cover some minor changes in improvement that Apple is bringing to 13.4 with the latest beta now iOS 13 13.4 developer a beta 3 comes in a build number 17E5241D and that's going to be the latest build number for iOS 13.4 developer beta 3. Now if you're running the developer program of course you can head on over to settings head on over to general software updates and you should see the latest beta populate on your device. Same thing applies for watch OS and of course iPad OS as well so one minor change that i did want to cover that i did not cover on previous beta beta 2 now this was present on beta 2 but i did want it to cover it now it is under the tv extension in settings under this extension here we have a new downloads option categories here it says use the cellular data to download right here you have the options to select if you do select that you want to use the data you can use the fast or the high quality options are available here you also have your wi-fi options as well again this is for the tv app on your iPhone, you can select the language. You also have additional settings and notification options you can adjust. But this is pertaining to the TV app on your iPhone. You can now download content using the network, not only Wi Fi. Another minor change that is noticeable right away is within Safari. So, this again was present in beta 2, something that I did want to cover. On previous versions of iOS 13, if you tap on the status bar on the URL, you have your actual text picker. So the text picker can now be assigned to a particular portion of the URL. You don't have to drag it around. You can actually tap, and this has been improved on the latest beta for iOS 13.4 developer beta 2 and beta 3 as well. So just minor changes and improvements. Now, Apple appears to be switching to a one-week release cycle for this iOS 13.4 from beta 1 to beta 2. It was a two weeks in between beta from beta 2 to beta 3 today. It was only one week in between. So it looks like Apple will be releasing new betas every week from here on out, if history is any indication. And we could see as many as five to six betas before this software is officially released to the public. I'm expecting 13.4 to be made available on the week of the 23rd of March. So hopefully Apple will be releasing this software to everyone worldwide. So right now, again, we're sitting in beta three. So expect maybe two more and a gold master copy within the next couple of weeks. And that should bring us towards the end of March. So we'll see the software be released right in time before Apple's expected event of the iPhone SE2 and so much more products that are coming this year. But as of right now, minor changes. Of course, you can expect my follow-up video on 13.4 developer beta three. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace.